The Nobel Assembly at Karolinska Institutet has today decided to award the 2025 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine jointly to Mary Branko, Fred Ramsdell, and Shimon Sakaguchi for their discoveries concerning peripheral immune tolerance. Cairo Science in Bothell, Washington. She's currently a senior program manager and in Seattle. She won a PhD degree in 1983 from Kyoto University in Japan. The work for which he is awarded was initiated at Aichi Cancer Center Research Institute. We are constantly exposed to a myriad microbes and our immune system has developed to protect us from them, are eliminated in a process called central tolerance. If T cells from healthy mice were ejected, this pool of cells would no longer protect against autoimmune diseases. The discoveries have spurred development of several potential new treatments. Clinical trials are ongoing to increase the number of regulatory T cells for suppressing unwanted immune reactions in autoimmune disease or following organ transplantation. The critical missing piece would come from Mary Branco and Fred Ramsdell. Today it's possible to map the mouse genome, the Hapo genome in a few. Mary Branco, Fred Ramsdell, and Shimon Sakaguchi have provided fundamental knowledge of how the immune system is regulated. Keeping the immune system in control indicated this kind of research as uh, fundamental in the science. Uh, I, I got hold of him uh, at, at his lab uh, and um, uh, he, he uh, sounded incredibly grateful and uh, expressed that it was a fantastic honor and uh, he, he was quite taken by the news. Uh. Our immune system is designed to combat microbes that we're exposed to every day and it's absolutely fundamental without an immune system uh, we wouldn't survive at all. Uh, but uh, the power of the immune system is also dangerous for our cells because if the immune system attacks our own bodies it, it really has uh, devastating consequences. Uh, and uh, that is what happens in autoimmune disease. So the immune system needs to be controlled. And what these scientists found was an entirely new principle whereby the immune system is kept in check so that it doesn't attack our own organs. This, this is a fundamental principle that we award this year, but there's a lot going on. There, there are no real treatments uh, already at this early stage, but there are more than 200 clinical trials ongoing involving uh, this principle, and uh, there's uh, a significant uh, promise uh, and hope that uh, this can be used to treat autoimmune disease that it can be maybe help to uh, prevent rejections of transplanted organs and also to treat cancer. Uh, it's a little bit different ways how to achieve this, but uh, uh, the principle is likely to be important for both.